So when I got to uh, Google, uh, Larry and Sergey had created this organization called Google.org, and they tried to do something new. Instead of making a 501c3, a regular foundation that used tax-advantaged money, instead they uh, made a pledge to shareholders that they would put 1% of Google's equity, 1% of Google's profits, and a large percentage of Google's um, talented engineering and other staff to work for things that wouldn't benefit shareholders but would benefit the world. And that became Google.org. And when I came there about two and a half years ago, the real question was, how do you choose from all the awful things in the world the thing that we could do uniquely or said another way, how do you take the engineering and the skills, not the money, but the idea of Google and use those resources for making the world a little bit better, a little bit fairer, a little bit more just, a little bit safer. And uh, I think I had only been at Google for about a month when I'd received almost 10,000 letters, emails, packages at my doorstep, phone calls uh, from people who had very good ideas on how that money could be used. And these were good people. These were not, they were very noble people with great projects. And sorting through them was the hardest task that we had. And it took us a year and a half, which seems like an awful long time. It took us a year and a half to take those 10,000 good ideas and come up with five that we thought we could add unique benefit to. And in doing it, we first started off by saying, what's the single most important criteria? Now, there's a lot of criteria. Uh, one of them is, can Google add anything different than the Red Cross or another organization? Another criteria, is it big enough? Is the idea big enough? Will it scale? Will what you're doing scale? Another is, is it sustainable? Just like questions you'd ask if you were looking at a business plan. But I started off with something called Gandhi's Talisman. And this is an answer that Gandhi gave when he was leading the resistance movement against the British. And people would come to him and say, Mahatma, how do I know if what I'm doing is good? What is the summum bonum? What's the test, the ultimate test of whether what I'm doing is good or not? And he said, I will give you a talisman. I will give you an amulet, a charm that will protect you from ever making a mistake. And that talisman was this. He said, before you act, consider the face of the poorest, most destitute person that you have ever chanced to meet. Remember that person and his life and his circumstances. And then ask yourself if that which you are about to do will benefit that person. And if it will, you're doing the right thing. You're safe. You're protected from making a mistake. And if it won't, think again. 